The game against the Indiana Pacers was a good barometer to say that we just aren't good enough right now. Scott Barnes is a good player. We found a little bit of a fun reverse screen and roll where the big Scott Barnes has the ball while Emmanuel quickly sets a screen and it worked out to some success, but we just need to get better at shooting. We need our young guys to develop. Dick just isn't good enough right now. In May, Miles Turner dominated the center position. Whoever was there, Jakob Pertl, uh, Christian Coloco, Kelly Olenek, a 36-24-3 game. Woof, those are Victor Wenbinyama numbers. But let's go over some of the scouting that we have. Let's check out, I guess, this one first. So I want to do the top five, maybe the top ten. Make sure you guys know who's in this class. Of course, we have Drew Waters, the Mississippi State point guard, but he's only five foot nine. Malik Elliott. I think I called him Mark Elliott because um, honestly, he just looks like a Mark to me. Gross. We have Jose Nunnally, another six foot point guard. Just not interested in that. Sean Hicks, the big man out of Texas. And then Jared Clement, the Canadian, who we're kind of in on. But at the same time, I'm a little worried about this B minus potential here. But continuing on in this draft class, we have Lucas Work, the seven foot big man out of Richmond. And he is an interesting player. First of all, 20 years old. Chris stops Porzingis ceiling with an Inez cancer slash freedom floor, which is meaning he's a, 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 a shooting European big man, if that makes sense. It says, though, that he is a defensive president in the post. Uh, that seems pretty good. Can be counted on to score points with his back to the basket. Unfortunately, that's just not a priority in today's game and a consistent rebounder on both ends of the floor. No significant weaknesses. His shooting splits are 46 from the field. 42% for the three-point line, but then 58% for the free throw line. And normally when you're grading these college kids, the free throw is a measurement of how good they are at their shooting stroke and how they're going to improve at the three-pointer. So a little bit backwards there, but good rebounder, good offensive player, and I guess good defensive player. Doesn't look like he's great on the perimeter. Marty Solomon out of Michigan State. 24 points per game. Also has Hall of Fame potential. Gobs of potential. Could turn into a perennial all-star someday. Really good reflexes. Great anticipation on the defensive end. Good dunker. Solid finisher. His weakness is that he's not a good player right now. He's a 68 overall, according to our scouts. A below average finisher. Plays below the rim. Even though he's a good dunker. Really solid finisher overall. <laughs> he's just a 2K scouting, baby. And he makes poor decisions with the ball right now. Shooting He's putting up 24, 5, and 5 at the college level, 47 from the field, but 28% from the three-point line, 64% from the free throw line. And he's 21 years old, fairly old as a college prospect goes, while at the same time having high potential, but he's a 68 overall. I don't know if we're going to be able to develop him. So Marty Solomon, you like that in theory. Looking at his grade, it's a B potential, so probably just another guy that we're not going to look into. Next up is Dwayne Nelson out of Texas. Jamal Murray, Lou Williams comparisons has a nice shooting form, hits the mid-range shots with ease and regularity. He's got a great leaping ability that will help him crash the boards as well as get his shot off because he's only a six foot three point guard. Good on-ball defender can get some steals here and there. Poor finisher in traffic, partly due to lack of dunking ability. So he can jump, he just can't dunk. I don't know what it is about these prospects. Averaging 20 points per game, two rebounds, eight assists, 43, 35, 68 splits at the college level, and his potential is a C plus. Oof. And then Lester Warren is another player that I'm really in on. He has Kobe Bryant NBA comparisons out of Wake Forest. Looks pretty smooth, generally speaking. Agility is solid. Very good shooter from the mid-range. Great lift on his jump shot. Will be able to shoot in traffic and over long defenders. And he's already six foot six. He might be kind of that Tracy McGrady athletic wing player of the early 2000s. Points per game is 29, 5 and 5, 42, 37, 81 splits. And I'm really in on him. His potential, though, also is only a B. So it's a little weird between Lester Warren and Jared Clement. They're both really good players. Both have high NBA prospect comparisons. But at the same time, their potential from our scouts is lower than you'd like it to be. And lastly, we have Ruben Kent out of Rutgers. Good, not great pickpocket ability. With the right tutelage, he could become a star in this league. That's literally anyone. Can take guys off the dribble a bit. Has a little shake to his game. Some dribble, some handle. Lacks conviction around the rim. Doesn't know what he wants to do there when he's shooting, when he's passing. And he's a below average court vision. Hurts his otherwise fair repertoire. What a weird scouting report on him. At Rutgers, he's putting up 18, 5, and 5. 35, 33, 79 splits. 71 overall at 20 years old. But he has A-plus potential. So what do you trust more? 
the potential for the scouting report NBA comparisons. It's going to be a little tough. He's only a 71 overall at 20 years old. So I guess the three guys in this top 10 that we're looking at is Jared Clement, who just seems to make so much sense because he's from Canada. Lester Warren, because he's like Kobe Bryant, Tracy McGrady, caliber player. And then Ruben Kent, because he has A plus potential. Those are going to be the three major players. I don't think there's anybody else on this scouting report. I wanted to go through. That was one through 10, right? Yeah. Anyway, we're coming down to the home stretch of the NBA season. We are probably on the outside looking in of the playoffs. 28 wins. We're in a battle with the Brooklyn Nets to try and secure our first round pick. And hopefully it doesn't have to go to whoever has it right now. But let's see. This is actually going to be a huge game. Can we lose against this team? And can I just, can I say, you know what? We're actually hurt. We're going to run 12 deep. Scotty Barnes is taking a rest day. RJ Barrett is taking a rest day. And Jakob Pertl is taking a rest day. You know what I mean? It's not that we're tanking per se. We're just prioritizing development against this Brooklyn Nets squad. So we have, how does the lineup look right now? We have Emmanuel Cookley, Gary Trent Jr., Ochag Baji, Grady Dick, and Christian Coloco. And then the bench unit is going to be Killian Hayes, of course, Jordan Wara, Chris Boucher, Kelly Olynyk, Bruce Brown, and Jalen McDaniel. You know what I mean? Just prioritizing rest while we round out this NBA season. So we're going to hop into some guests and see if we can secure this draft positioning. <laughs> we're not taking, okay? We're just making sure that we have the right draft pick. That's all. Going into the third quarter, they're winning. Going into the fourth, that we're losing by double digits. Oh, no. Man. Oh, we need to change the head coach. This is ridiculous. How are we losing this game? And... Uh, and five point game 12 seconds left seven point game and there you go how does the nba standings look now do we have a higher draft pick than the nets moment of truth yes okay oh that was a big game for us okay back to our standard rotations and here we are going to simulate as we win yaka purtle twists his knee and he's gone for the next game oh man I mean, of all the players that we could lose, I guess Yaka Pertle is the one that's okay. That means Christian Coloco is going to get thrust into the starting lineup. Brutal. We'll have Kelly Olenek take the backup minutes. I guess we'll give three minutes to Chris Boucher in case we have to. can't believe we won against the Heat. That's frustrating. I think we're, we're going to lose our draft pick just because of this victory. But Jimmy Butler with 23-3 and 7. Bam at a bio, 20-13 and 5. Caleb Martin, 13-7 and 3. Scary Terry, 12. Kevin Love, 12. Tyler Hero, 11. What happened? Scott Barnes popped off. 27, 12, 1, 1, 1. Roger Bear was solid. Killian Hayes was pretty good. Jakob, eh, Kelly Olenek, eh. And a lot of players contributed on small levels. 8, 6, 3, and 5. 6, and 2. 6, 6, and 1. 2, 4, 1, 1, 1. And 1 point. 1 minute for Chris Boucher. But here we are. The final game of the season. Let's practice. I had to change the controller settings so that I could um, get some footage for the scouting report. And it, there's no way to transition controller settings from one save file to another. So if you do anything, you have to do it for everybody. Moderately annoying. Anyway, let's make some buckets. Let's make some buckets. All right. Oh, and you know what? I forgot that we have a new segment to introduce. Hold on. It's called... Professor Airball reading through your comments. Professor Airball reading through your comments. All right. First one is from the Bulls rebuild. The H in Zatch is silent. No, it's not. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. His name is Zatch Lavine. All right. Don't be weird. Dior Levy. Anyway, back to Raptors franchise from some people be like 4873. A big that can block shots and stretch the floor is the most important aspect IMO. Or if you can't find shooting, find a big with immense size like Zach Eady type. It will help you run a paint dominant offense with insane defense. Yeah, I mean, that's just common sense for today's NBA in general. But a big who can block is athletic and can shoot the three. I mean, you know, that's Victor Wimbanyama right there. Obviously, we're going to try to get the best of the best at the center position. We will. I'll see what we can do. Next up from Christina McConnell, go to controller settings and change your passing meters. Pop Boy has great sliders for it so you don't do dumb passes. It looks like you may have two stars. RJ defense is great. And you're figuring out how to, how I uh, can't read the last part of your sentence, but yes. What do you want me to do? go to controller settings? There's more settings I have to change. I think I saw this when I was scrolling through. Oh my God. I have to do more. Okay. All right. This isn't pop boy, but it's some random guy from escapist magazine. Let's see. D 
defensive assist strength down to 10. I got you. 10. Box out assist strength. 50. It's already there. Pass target direction. 1. Bam. Pass target distance. 98. Uh, What is the last one? Pass target openness. 98 i'm in okay if that doesn't work it's your fault <laughs> next comment is from christine you commented a bunch of times but i'm gonna do this one as well go to practice and learn how to shoot a floater iq is deadly with it and he's a good three-point shooter off the screen okay well i asked you guys to tell me some moves to learn let's learn how to do a floater in nba 2k24 move and hold the right stick down hold on give me the ball while driving so i'm like ah ah flow game okay okay ah floater oh that was beautiful can we use iq we need like iq tyrese maxi to be doing these float games whoop, whoop. oh he just dunked it so i can't be holding the the turbo button but if i'm just kind of ah okay Okay, there's IQ. Just get the timing down. And we're butter. We're money. How about here? Oh, I can do it from anywhere. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. That's a... Oh! Kissing it. Come on, one more IQ. That was a jump shot. Yikes. Float game strong. Float game strong! Okay, there we go. We go use the floater. <laughs> I have no idea if it's going to work for us, but let's go! Next up is from... Rishishma, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, get someone better than Coloco for a long-term build. Yeah, I mean, we're just testing out some of these young players like Killian A's and Christian Coloco, seeing if there's any talent. I don't think Christian Coloco is going to be here. He just, he's a little undersized. The lateral quickness isn't what we need. Um, Killian Hayes, we still have to see. He may be point guard three for a stretch, and then we'll see if there's anything that can come off of that. But we, again, this is just a feeling out end of the season, kind of figuring out what players are going to stick around, what players have to go. Next up is from CFP Fanatic. 2K can be glitchy with the potential sometimes. Well, sh <laughs> well uh, I if if the if what I'm reading, if the facts that I'm being presented are false, then this is just fake news. Well, there's nothing that we can do and we're screwed. So we're gonna have to draft the best players that we can given the draft positioning that we have. Next one is Metal Forever 246. Need a Grady Dick and a Dambona duel for the franchise. So much mean potential. And maybe a Corey Kispert return. All interesting moves in the offseason that will be coming up the next episode. David Mannion, 1357. Sliders are from the 2K with Pop Boy Sliders. I just copy that man. He is a god when it comes to 2K. And last one is MPJ will solve all your problems. All you need is a good guy with three pointers. No, <laughs> we need a lot more than that. Let me just go over the roster one more time before we hop into the final game of this 2024 season. So the shooting guard position. For the point guard position, we definitely need to improve upon IQ. Kind of more of a two guard than a one. Um, decent defender. He can be backup point guard for a championship team. I just don't know if we can win with him in 2K. Bruce Brown need to get better than Gary Trent Jr. needs to get better. And Grady Dick, hopefully he'll develop at some point. Javon Freeman Liberty probably isn't going to offer us anything. RJ Barrett and Ochai Agbaji is the one position that I'm pretty content with. If Ochai takes a little bit of a step up, gets like a 77 Overall, this upcoming season, that'll be great. Scott Barnes, perfect. Need a backup for him. Jordan Wara, Jalen McDaniels aren't going to cut it. And this whole center position just needs to get scrapped. Every one of you, gone. Get off my team. That is going to do it, though, for your comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. But let's hop into the final game. The final game of the 2024 NBA season. Okay, defensive settings tight. Tights. Offensive settings, five outs. Uh, what else do we need to do? Defensive matchups. Carries their point guard, so that means IQ is going to pick him up. Tyler Heroes is the shooting guard. That's fine. Jimmy Buckets is three. Caleb Martin, four. Bam, five. I'd consider going small here. Like, instead of Christian Coloco, just have Scotty Barnes play the point center for us. That could be a interesting move, because Bam is only about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, They're very similar in in sight. Heights. Sights? What, why did I say sights? Anyway, RJ Barrett... Heal and hope. Oh, don't take that. Cut, RJ. Bad. 
and um oof. bam out of bio is an all nba defender so this is gonna be a problem oh man anyway bad first possession for us as i try to just lay it up over the all nba player and scary terry open three splash missed okay scotty barnes leaking scotty barnes throw that shit down scott barnes with the authority first points of the game belong to your toronto raptors oh jimmy backdoor yeah rj barrett just got animated out of the way he didn't even get moved he got animated out of the way and we got a tie ball game here I'm interested if we can execute the the power forward point guard screen and roll that works so well for us. Let's see. I need a little better of a screen. I know that's not your traditional role, but just get Caleb Martin off me, son. Get him off me. Draw the foul. And the score was four to two. Tyler Hero ISO. Terry Rozier just left open. What happened? We just we're not playing defense today. That's fine. Let's go back to it. I'm one of those guys who, until they stop you, just keep running the same play. Like, what is Terry Rozier going to do on Scott Barnes besides make me miss? And we got RJ. Oh, that's Christian Coloco. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no chance of that going in. Um, I don't know if Bam can shoot. Actually, yes. It's 2K. He can shoot in 2K. In real life, can't shoot at all. Anything past the free throw line, clank. But uh, 2K, he certainly can. And this may be the Corey Kispert play for Scotty Barnes, which means RJ Barrett's going to get an open three. Why are you running that way? Pump and go around. Oh, Jimmy Butler draws the foul. We got a Gary. We got a Gary. We got an inbound three. Ugh, that was a really good release. I know it said late. Uh-uh. Also, I completely forgot that I don't control substitution. So if I wanted to do Scott Barnes at the five, they're not going to let me. Oh, they're running the Corey Kispert play? What? Yeah, they got a wide open three out of it? What? Yo, they cheese it right now. Christian Coloco pump. And <laughs> what was that? Oh my God. I hate 2K's defense sometimes. I'll tell you exactly what happened here. So RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Cookley are back. They're running the Scary Terry and Jimmy Butler fast break, and then everybody else is kind of like laid on the positioning. So I'm controlling RJ here. IQ sitting in the paint like he's freaking Victor Wimbanyama. I know it's the second time I brought up his name, whatever. So I switch on because Terry has the ball, but then I expect IQ is going to pick up the ball behind me and I can switch back out to the three point line for Jimmy Butler. Instead, IQ thinks we're doing a full switch. He goes from being underneath the basket to sprint out to the three point line because he's dumb. Scary Terry's just spinning in front of me like he's freaking an and one. And then he just gets wide open points out of this going to the free throw line. Dumb. Okay. You heard me. <laughs> this is a bad stretch here. So we're going to go back to the... We're going to go back. Nah, I need a... That was... I was... I pressed... I pressed the, the screen button and it went away. Why did it go away? Okay, Tyler Hero. Let's just put up a three-pointer with RJ Barrett. That's fine with me. RJ, what you got? Show me what you got. He's got a three. Bang. Okay. Good with that. Happy with that. Content with that, you might even say. Tyler Hero? Oh, my gosh. Nope. Caleb Martin? Oh, my gosh. Did Christian Coloco just get shook? Christian. <laughs> That was hideous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, don't look now. It's the Corey Kisper play. It's the Corey Kisper play. Bang! Scotty Barnes. Back to back Toronto Raptors three as we hit double digits. I don't remember what the play is called, but the Corey Kisper play is lethal. It's like a like a triple option. Oh, look at this defense. Look at oh, 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 oh. I'm there though. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Stepping back on me. Hands up D. Wow. <laughs> Christian Colo. And you'll quickly. Oh, no one can stop RJ Barrett. Why did I say RJ Barrett? That's Scott Barnes. That's Scotty B. Number four overall pick. Toronto Raptors rookie of the year. Future legend Scotty Barnes. Why did I say RJ Barrett? 
Why did I miss that free throw? All right, down by five, four and a half minutes left. Defense definitely needs to improve. I say that. And there you go. That's exactly what we need. Killian Hayes is in the game, kicking it and passing it. All right, let's, let's watch this fast break. Emmanuel quickly is wide open here in the corner. I make the pass. Tyler Hero goes, Arr! and he's immediately saying, I got to defend that. So I pass, and underneath the basket, Scott Barnes is calling for it. I do the quick pass button, and he just zips it to RJ Barrett. Well, why would you do that? Okay, 2K. We have an gonna be one of those days like RJ Barrett missing this wide open three because it wasn't wide open yup oh Tyler Hero pulling up that is a tough three. Oh my gosh excuse my French but that man was falling sideways I couldn't make one of those threes in my life depended on it anyway RJ Barrett open three of his own bang perfect release RJ Barrett I mean, we're hanging in. Their offense is playing really well right now. That's the thing about these sliders. Good Lord, Duncan Robinson is just moving me out of the way with his butt. And Jimmy? What you got, Jimmy? In real life, you can't shoot the three, but this is 2K and this is Bam out of bio. Oh no. Every time I don't icon pass, it goes to the wrong guy. Christian Coloco didn't help. He screened me. You know it's bad when you're getting screened by your own guys. Decent timing on the release. Oh, Kelly Olynyk is just bad at life. How many minutes did I shrink Kelly Olynyk's rotation to? Because, good lord. He needs even less. With all due respect, you're so bad, Kelly. Like, maybe you can shoot the ball. But gross. Get off me, son. Incredible release. Incredible contest. And, uh... Oh, look at that recovery defense. Okay, here we go. Bam out of bio in the post. Switch. Switch. I press the switch button. They don't switch. We get a foul and one on a three-point shot. Three. For Bruce Brown. And he missed. And everybody missed. I'm just going to point out to you, these are the exact same sliders that we were playing with before. Like, sometimes... The gods bless you, and sometimes they don't. And right now, they don't. God, I just... Kelly Olenek has to go. Can can I injure this man on my own? He's so bad. He's so bad. <laughs> like, you... There's nobody worse than Kelly Olenek right now on our team. Ochai missed. Oh, Bruce Brown with the defense. Bruce Brown switching. Bruce Brown, one-man army. Bam, screen, I'm there. Four, I just, Kelly Olenek has to go. How, can I tell the coach that Kelly Olenek cannot play? What, what setting is there that I can say, do not let Kelly Olenek play basketball anymore? Ochai, best athlete that we have on the floor. Ochai Agbaji going to the free throw line. Tyler Hero with the intentional foul. One for two, it does not matter who, as we are down by 17 here. In the quarter, that is ridiculous. Tyler Hero air balls. Yikes. Uh, let's see. Takeaways are Kelly Olenek has to go. Good lord. Christian Coloco needs to be improved upon. Down by 17. Let's lock up a little bit on defense. Christian Coloco is back in, although Kelly Olenek is also in. Tyler Hero shot. It's just impossible to stop that. Can you get the ball? What's happening? <laughs> I thought we were playing basketball instead of playing freaking footsies with each other we're playing playing hold my hold my with each other oh is that a good pass it's a good pass i didn't know if i read that correctly but killian hayes throws it down with authority look at the elevation and plays like that are why i think we may have a chance with killian hayes for him to develop into something we just have to see tyler heroes running off ball great defense from killian like, Killian's defense and his athleticism are good. If we just get his shooting even remotely too mediocre, he could be a backup point guard two, point guard three for us. Wow. Tyler just pulls up. And let's see who's running with us. Who's running with us? RJ Barrett should have cut there. Oh, we got his man up in the air. 
And now we got Duncan Robinson. Can I bully Duncan? If I just do a little jump hook? Oh, that was early. That was my fault. Let's see. I like this Christian Coloco. I like Christian Coloco in the transition. He's a locomotive. And he just gets the man on his back and outruns them to the hoop. That is beautiful transition offense. The rest of the team may not be playing all that well, but Christian Coloco gonna try. I love that the, um, the, the, what is it? The top 10 rankings is just broken in this game. Like not even remotely close to accurate. We're like the 15th seed or something. And they go, oh, you're the 10th seed, even though your record isn't there because we can't show you 10 other teams. Why did I get moved so far out of the way there? What was this? What, what happened? I'm, I'm sticking on, on Kevin Love. He's cutting to the basket. I'm cutting to the basket. I have to do this to make sure that my players don't get, like, cheesed. We get a bump here. And then he just woofs. He just... The slightest bump. And he sheds me like skin. It's like we go into Scotty here. Scotty B, though. Gets the screen, though. And gets the three, though. And that was a perfect release. Come on. RJ Barrett fighting on the glass and that's Toronto Raptors basketball baby it's uh it's it's stars that oh my gosh yeah I don't know I don't know what to make of that possession um I don't know what to make of this possession either I'm gonna say Emmanuel quickly pick fade oh what a screen what a screen we're right under the basket we gotta make this right oh <laughs> You can't be closer to the basket than that. You just can't. Tyler Hero 3 splash. So, like, it's so sad. Too bad. So sad. Quick release. Emmanuel quickly. Bang! Inside out basketball. Scotty Barnes gets doubled. Emmanuel quickly splashes. Now we have to play on this end. The offensive end, I know it's not great, but it's not terrible. Scary Terry missed. Rebound. Ours. Transition. IQ. Somebody's got to cut. Why? Why doesn't my team like to cut? Uh, oh, don't. Don't do that. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just jump passes are a thing. It's okay to jump pass. It's allowed. Oh, what a... Just, just, just... Can anybody guard Bam out of bio on the pick and roll? Or is that, is that not allowed? And then look at that speed burst. Good lord. Scotty Barnes did not roll. <laughs> this this was not a roll. Scotty, when I say roll, you set the screen and then you roll to the open part of the paint. You don't stand and then pop and then run away from me. What the actual? What the actual? I got nothing. Uh, I'm gonna re. I'm gonna find wherever those 2K sliders. Where is Chris Boucher going? Oh my God! Scotty, go around. Gary Trent throws it down. Transition defense leads to offense. Just the general IQ of my team is bad. Oh, look at that defense. Chris Boucher, though. And RJ Barrett is open here. I'm pulling it. <laughs> that was so bad. Oh, I have tears in my eyes from that miss. All right, Chris Boucher back on BAM. I'm good with this. Oh, look at that defense. Wow. Bam just muscles it over. I wish we could make an inside contested shot like that. And, ooh, we got a Gary Trent Jr. play, though. We got a Gary Trent Jr. play. Perfect release. Splash. Gary Trent. Junior? Uh, oh, bam. Oh, bam. Oh, bam. Bam. Let's go. He misses. Run the break. Ochai is sprinting, but he's got a rookie right behind him. 
And I can't pass the ball away out of the bay. That's fine. Defense. There we go. Defense leads to offense. Defense leads to offense. Look at Gary miss. <laughs> Bruce Brown throws it down. Downtown like a clown. It's Bruce Brown. Oh. Dick for three. Ah. Okay. Made that would have been 12, but it's whatever. I'm not mad. I'm not worried. I'm just disappointed. Can we stop getting beat by freaking back doors? Can my team play defense for once? Do we need to go to idiot IQ school for, 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 you, for you fools? Bruce Brown pinned down. Oh, that was a... That's a funky release. It goes in, but good lord, it goes, goes up. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm eloquent with my words, baby. I'm a word maestro. Our hero, just the screen and roll that cannot be the screen and roll from heck, as they say in children's books. Dick. To Olenek and one. I don't know what that was, but it worked. And look, we're not that far out of it. You look at the scoreboard. It's only a 13-point game. They've played really well offensively, but we played we played okay on our own. We want to hit about 40 points. We're at 37. We want them to hit less than 40. They hit 50. I mean, the weakness is that they cannot be stopped. They're literally the perfect basketball team. But outside of that, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, bail us out. Nah. Hey, take a look at the halftime stats. Bam, out of bio is just feasting on us. Center is already a difficult position for us. 19, 10, 2, 1, and 2. 9 of 12 shooting and a three-pointer. Tyler Hero's been okay. Jimmy Butler's been quiet. 4, 2, and 5 on four shots. Jaime Hawkins, Scary Terry. It's really just the Bam at a bio show. As for us, Scotty B's okay. RJ's okay. Gary Trent is okay. Bruce Brown, nah. IQ, quiet. Kelly Olenek has been the worst player I've ever seen in my life. Good lord. And he's only a minus four. You've given up so many baskets. Christian Coloco, bad. Kelly Day's bad. Ojak Baji, bad. Grady Dick, bad. Chris Boucher, bad. Our old team is bad. We need to get to the offseason quick and just revamp this whole roster because I'm disappointed top to bottom with this team. I want to make my own substitutions. I want to make my own... What was that? Make my own plays and i want rj barrett to be open and he's not open he was never really open let's go gary you know what i'll i'll take that that was good transition defense force tyler hero to make both his free throws which he will i just why am i not allowed to pass to my team you know like there's just there's certain things that you shouldn't have to struggle doing passing to my own effing team oh my god i am inside of that ball give me the double team animation give me fucking something 2k jesus christ rj bear versus jimmy butler oh man the hardest working man in the nba versus jimmy butler and here comes scott barnes we got a mismatch we got size we got speed we got tyler hero spin on him and then put it up and then make it scotty b i mean scotty's giving you effort is this the rest of the team that ain't? Um, it's the Corey Kispert play. I'm there. Bam out of bio. Straight up. Can't do nothing. Bam out of bio. Can't do nothing. Pump and go around. Nope. RJ Barrett. Nothing. Gary Trent Jr. Sprinting. Gary Trent Jr. Quick release. Gary Trent Jr. And don't look now, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look now, but that scoreboard looking mighty tasty. It's only a 12 point deficit. RJ Barrett with the clamps. Bam. Hands up D. Missed. Let's go. Who's open? Who's open? Pump. Okay. 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 I just, I, I'm not allowed to freaking do anything with my own damn team if i want to pass to my own guys they miss if i want to fuck Tyler hero's already gassed you love that he's out of bounds he's running out of bounds gary Trent jr with the clamps no 
screening. Scotty, IQ, take it. Oh, wow, that was such a quick release. Oh, my God. Just tell me when you're going to do quick releases. That's all I need. I, um, I just want to... <laughs> So, uh, this, this is, this guy is known as Bam Adebayo, right? He's a decent ball handler at the center position. So when your center is guarding Bam Adebayo, you'll say, I'm going to guard you, Bam Adebayo. Your point guard doesn't need to, for no reason, sprint away from your guy, double team Bam, and also double team in a way where you come to the complete opposite side of the court of the man that you're guarding so that there's so much time that you waste there's no way for you to actually be helpful in any way and give up a wide open three to Terry Rozier the third. Like, there's no conceivable reason why that needed to happen. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. <sighs> 2K is... You know, there's... I say it, 2K is on one sometimes. There's just certain times, certain days where 2K says, I'm gonna be the stupidest piece of S stupidest garbage I've ever seen and today's one of those days oh what a screen what a screen from Bam he gets the rebound he gets the put back he throws it down and it's back up to 21 we had a 12 point deficit at one point hey let's call three point plays for for Scotty Barnes that's smart Bruce Brown for three. Missed because Bruce Brown is a bad three-point shooter. The whole Raptors team is bad at three-point shooting. And once again, we are giving up backdoor cuts. And it's pretty much over now. The Raptors are are, are so bad. Tyler Hero three splash. Think we can make this? <laughs> My team is so bad. I just, I can't believe how horrendously pathetic this Raptors team is. It's unbelievable. The amount of nothingness that we're able to accomplish. We can't hit our open shots. We can't pass to the open guy. We can't run efficient plays. We can't defend anybody. This team is so pathetic on so many levels. Come on, Kelly. Spit on him, Kelly. Spit on him. Look, Kelly Olenek did something. Wow. Now the lead is only 28. So you're saying there's a chance. Bam at a bio? I mean, Chris Boucher's defensive impact is, is, is surreal. I can't do anything. I'm not allowed to do anything. I just, Kelly, you suck so bad. Killian Hayes. Throws it down with authority. Oh, this team is frustrating. Jimmy just dribbled right around everybody. Tyler Hero is so gassed that he's going to hit another three. And they are, once again, they're doubling us up. It's just whenever we play a pretty good team, there's no chance that we have of winning. And uh, the Heat are pretty good. We have no chance of winning. Did that ball go through me? I'm just curious. Did that ball go inside of me? No. Chris Boucher's just looking at his like, Coach, you always told me to keep my eye on the ball. I'm way ahead of you. I'll look right at it. I'll stare into the abyss and never come back. I don't know what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that Jordan Nwara needs to get off my team. Bruce Brown needs to get off my team. Chris Boucher, honestly, he... Of all the players, he could probably stay. Jalen McDaniels needs to get off my team. Manuel quickly, I don't know. Can you stay on my team? Maybe. Yikes. Let's go. Chris Boucher throws it down. Uh, nothing ever happens. Oh, Chris Boucher says get that shit out of here. And who's running? I'm taking it. I don't give a damn. Oh my god, that quick trigger. 
Why is that such a quick trigger? Why? Why? They just real do to do Sunday driving. Oh, Emmanuel quickly. I didn't mean to make that a floater, but let's go. The float game is back. And hands up the hands up. Chris Boucher, Kevin Love, Kevin Love, Kevin Love, Kevin Love. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what a screen. Is that on us? Let's go, illegal screen. It's the fourth quarter. We're down by 30, and we're still fighting through screen. If you don't like that, you don't like Toronto Raptors basketball. Christian Coloco, screen, roll, alley-oop. You gotta set the actual screen, though. You can't just pretend to set a screen and then run away. What is Josh Richardson's defensive rating? That's Josh Richardson, okay? IQ, kind of open, and we missed anyway because that was me shooting instead of anyone else. I'm there, switch out. Look at that switch. Look at that manual switch, and then Kevin Love just did me dirty. Oh. IQ, perfect release. See, that release I could handle. That was quick. We released it at the top still. That one felt normal. That one felt like I could... <laughs> Chris! Boucher! Throws it down! I'm telling you, Chris Boucher is probably our best center. If this season went on a little longer, I would make Chris Boucher the starter. And Yaka Pirtle the backup. Chris Boucher has been exceptional in the minutes that he's been providing us. I know theoretically Kelly Olenek is an 80 overall. And I just, I was just patting you on the back, Chris. I was just saying how good you were at the sport of basketball, Chris. Why would you do this to me? Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'll tell you why 2K24 defense sucks. So, I'm I'm on Jaime this whole time. It's just right here, he's at the three-point line. Bump, bump, bump. Didn't get bump. Right here, didn't get bump. Right there. If I continue to get bump, if I still got bump, we'd be in front of him. He wouldn't get a wide-open layup to the basket. That's why it's just so... Playing on-ball defense in this game is some of the most cheesy uninspired crap in the world how does man Emmanuel quickly I love that we didn't play that pesky um that pesky franchise player at all in the second half like we were losing by so much the CPU I wasn't even honestly looking at the, uh, the screen it was like gosh don't you hate Scott Barnes being the best player in the team. Let's just make sure that he's not playing at all for this second half. I don't I don't want him on the court. Though Emmanuel quickly, yeah, let's run him into the ground. And Kelly Olenek, yeah, let's run him into the ground. But that Scotty Barnes guy, can we just get him off the court? He he's he's worse than a bag of peanuts. Come on, Chris Boucher. Let's get the Chris Boucher. I'm sorry, just... I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know a lot. I just know that when you're the role man, this isn't how you play basketball. <laughs> let me set it with my butt. Run... Let me set it with my butt the wrong way and then run at you. <laughs> That's just so stupid. Oh, Chai, miss. Hey. Let's go, Chris Boucher. The Chris Boucher show. We may have lost by 26, but Chris Boucher makes us lose in style. Well, it's the final game of the season. And you know what? Kudos to every other team in the NBA not named the Toronto Raptors for achieving their goals as we clearly did not. Um, disgusting performance from our team.
disgusting season and I cannot wait to improve upon every single position in the offseason. Luka Doncic wins MVP. Can we can we get these out of my face? Hello? Thank you. God. Luka Doncic wins MVP. 34, 9, and 9. 1 steal. 50, 78, 38 splits. Victor Wembenyamarana wins Rookie of the Year. 19 and 10 for him. Russell Westbrook, 6th man of the year. Victor Wembenyamarana, Diva as a player of the year. Jalen Johnson, most improved. I'm okay with that. He had a really impressive season in real life. In 2K... We'll see, but 13 and 7, 50, 72, 34 splits for him. Stephanie Curry, clutch player of the year. Mark Dagnall, coach of the year, as Yaka Park wins executive of the year for the 99 overall ridiculously stacked Boston Celtics. All NBA first team goes to Luca, Nicola, Giannis, Trey Young, and Anthony Davis. Sec team is Shea Schmilder, Schmilder, Schmander, Demont Simonis, LeBron James. Really? Victor on the all NBA's second team in his rookie year. 89 overall. Wow. He's going to be a problem. Uh, Jalen Brunson for the third team is Jason Tatum, Tyrese Alburn. I already see it. Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, and don't look now, but the young blood, Scotty Barnes made his first all NBA team. Heck of a year for the Scott Meister. All defense for team is Shea Mildish Mildish. <laughs> <laughs> Luka Doncic on the all defensive first team. And it's Kawhi Leonard and Victor Wembanyama on a defensive second team is Alex Caruso, Derek White, Scott Barnes. Wow, LeBron James. Okay, game. And Anthony Davis. All rookie first team is Victor Wembanyama on a Chet Holmgren, Brandon Miller, Sar Thompson, a Sir Thompson. I forget how to say his name. And Derek Lively. Junior. Second team is Amen Thompson, Keontae George, Jaime Hawkins, Scoot Henderson, and Brandon Pajemski. Looks like Dick did not make it. Sometimes you just can't get Dick. We will go over the playoffs and uh, basically the entire offseason as we did not make anything we finished. Where do we finish in the seating? That screen doesn't show us because why would it? Why would it? We finished. Do we finish behind the Nets? No. We finished one game up on the Brooklyn Nets. Brutal. How does our draft positioning look? Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be able to see it, but I don't believe we have our first round pick. So that is going to do it for the regular season. First season. The 2024 Toronto Raptors. Really brutal end, but there's a lot to improve upon. There's only the only way we can go is up. Think of it that way. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think we should do in the offseason. And I'll catch you in the next one.